gosh. Every, oh, no, no, no. All right, folks, welcome back to Outside the Levees. I am your host, Jared Serenay. I'm down here in South Louisiana in a beautiful sunny day. We got a minor, minor cold front. I had to come get out here and see if I could catch me some dinner. The goal today is to catch really anything from this little roadside dish I found. I was riding around looking for a spot where you got a good amount of current, and I definitely found it here. Problem is, I don't know what's here. We got nets, we've got a cast net, we need to get to work and see what's here. I did see a guy leaving. He said he caught some crabs. He invited me to go ahead and use his crab lines he already has out. So maybe that's what we'll get. We'll get crabs, but let's get to it right now and see what we can find at this little roadside ditch here in South Louisiana. All right. All right, let's go see. Looks like there's some crab lines already here. Like here's a crab line. I don't know if it's baited or not but I brought bait with me. Put my little hand line sticks here. Let's see. Let's see if it's got any crabs on it. Uh, no. Oh, maybe on this one, let's see. Oh yeah, nice crab. All right, that's one. Nice crab. All right, we already got two. Nice. That one's down here. Yes, three crabs. Nice. Oh, get in there. Oh, they got two. That's, that one's pulling good. Wow. definitely a crab on this one I've seen the line moving a little guy a little guy that one had two on it all right not bad that's nice having your lines already there that sure is nice all I'm doing is cutting my mullet just getting a slice into it something that my string can ride in Toss that one out. Okay. Alright, and we'll cut a big old piece of mullet. Nice piece of fresh mullet with a slit in it. Get that in there. Wrap it. And tie it off tight. Alright. Okay. Throw that out. Okay. All right. Keeps getting hung up on something, man. Little guy. Put him back, let him grow. Got a crab on the mullet. First one on the mullet. Nice. All right. So I got my ring nets too. So we got hand lines and ring nets. Let's see if we can get some ring nets out. 
All right, let's try right off to the side here. All right, let's try right about here somewhere. Just need to get down to the bottom. Perfect. Alright, so I can't not try my big new dip net. This is exactly what I got it for. Places like this where you got water running through, you can just hold it down there, see what you catch. This is a big double culvert here, draining all this water. And I'll just get it down there and see what see if we can get anything. Feel something. What we got? Oh, we got fish. What do we get? A pogey. Cool. All right. That's different. I'm curious to see if he can swim out. He's trying to. Wonder how deep everything is. Let's go down a little bit. Pogey's still in there. Okay, so the pogey got out. And one of the things we're testing with this net is how 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 deep it needs to be. So I think we're gonna have to come off another two or three foot. All kinds of little bitty. What is that? Wow, look at all these little bitty minnow shiners okay let's go try the other one. Oh, look at this big old giant crab yes look at that big old crab y'all heck yeah all right i'll take it big old crab got it all right got a crab with the big scoop net let's see I would love to catch shrimp in this thing. I just don't know if it's going to happen. Got pogies. Is that a croaker? Nice. That's cool. Got a croaker. I made a little croaker. Oh, feel something. All right, let's see. Oh, goodness. I'm glad that didn't get stuck in there. I know y'all saw what that was. Big nasty garfish. Did I get a shrimp? Oh, just a pogey. Where's my little bird friend? Where'd he go? Oh, he had you a meal, bro. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wet down my crabs I got. Try to keep them alive. Alright. All right, so I got a net here. Let's see. Oh, my bait's gone. That sucks. All right, let's check this net. Got a little crab. We'll let him go. All right, we got a net here. Nice little crab in it, no bait. Dang it. All right. That one needs to be baited. See if I see a crab. Yep, definitely got a couple crabs on it. Oh, I missed one. All right. Get that back out. Little crab, I'm gonna let it go. Okay. My nets aren't doing good, man. I'm losing all my bait in my nets. This has got something in it for sure. Oh, nice crab. Dang it. All right, you gotta come up a little bit quicker on that one. This has got something on it. 
Come on, buddy. Stay on there. All right. Nice crab. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. On the mullet. Nice crab on the mullet. All right. No shrimp, all pogies. So we'll go back to checking our crab stuff. I'm gonna have to come try this at night. All right, hopefully the bait stayed on the net this time. Oh, I see a crab. Get my net, I see a crab right there. Oh, lucky little sucker. Look at this guy. <laughs> Wet them down again. I like to wet my crab down a lot. It's hot out here, folks. Nope. Woo, two crabs. All right, let's see if I don't mess up the net this time. Come up quick. Full of crabs. Look at that big number one, y'all. Look at that big number one. A nice little number two who's trying to get away. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. A little number two crab. Got a nice big number one. We're getting them little by little. Here it comes number two. It's got a crab. Nice little crab. Oh dang, my bait come off. Alright, let me see. Get my crab in my basket. Let's see if I can figure out a way to get my bait back on. Alright, this one's tugging like it's got something. See if I can catch them two at a time here, folks. Got him. What? That was it. Just that little bitty turn. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look, look, look. Something's going on this one. I got a net out somewhere, too. That's just that little bitty. Get off my, get off my bait, silly rascal. All right, let's see. See if I can get this one up quick. Oh my goodness, nice one. Big old number one, y'all. Big old number one. Look at that big old number one I just got. They're getting a little bit better. White trout. Nice size. Uh, oh, a shrimp. I finally got a shrimp. <laughs> All right. First shrimp. First shrimp in the net, folks. There we go. Took you long enough. But I did get a shrimp. All right, let's see. Got another shrimp. Another shrimp, a couple bogeys. All right, we're gonna get this figured out, folks. This will turn into something. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's a nice shrimp. All right, that's a nice size shrimp. Shrimp are starting to come through now. Got a nice size shrimp.
Cool man, that little sucker catches, boy. That's a good spot right there, folks. We're catching them good right here. All right, folks. Putting a few together. Kind of wish I was catching stuff in the nets, uh, in the dip net. That'd been cool, but that's a nice big number one. That's a nice one. A few more in there, and we'll throw some of the tiny ones back, but not too bad. Only been out here a little while. Here's another net. Got to get it up quick. Oh, yeah, it's got crabs. Little crab, I'll let it go. Ah, uh, he let go. There's definitely for sure one. Ah, uh, I missed him. Dang it. Come on, Cray. Come on, Cray. Oh, come on. Don't. don't. Ah, got him. You got to go under the bait while it's still in the water. This one's got one, too. I can see him pulling on it. Go. Got him. Nice. Come on. All right. Got him that time. Got him that time, people. He little. We'll let him go. Check the good net. This net is catching the crap out of crabs, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Every pull that one's catching, man. They must be in there. We gotta get another net in there or something. All right, y'all. This is gonna be the last little haul before I gotta go pick up the boys. Jack's gonna be excited. He's got crabs for dinner. We got a flag football game get that man his crabs nothing in the net all right i just put this net down let me check this one first this one has been an absolute killer of a net i gotta get it up fast oh that was a nice crab get in position for this one all right come up quick like the other one no as good as that one caught come on all right let's go see all right this net will stay up got crabs yes indeed two little ones Got him. Yes. Nice crab. Nice crab. Ooh, that's a fat crab too. We got a crab on. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on, bro. There's a crab on it. Let me get under him. There we go. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> As my boy Cole would say, let's go. Come up fast with the heavy hitter. Jeez, I'm every time, folks. Every time it's got crabs in it. Three at a time in this one net. Unreal. All right, let's see if this one finally decided to do something now that it's in the right spot. Oh, yeah, it's got crabs. 
It's got crabs, folks. It's got crabs, folks. All right. Whatever reason, this is a good little hot spot right here. We are adding them up now, people. Definitely got enough to eat. That is so awesome. That makes me happy, happy, happy. Good little crabs, folks. All right, last pull on this net. Hopefully it's got some, I feel them. Oh my gosh. Holy cow, y'all. Man, it's finally getting good. Holy smokes. Every pull. That's insane. Every pull. Gosh. Every, oh, no, no, no. That's what we're catching, folks. I am smashing them in this one little spot. How about that? I can't leave yet. It's too good. I Miss mean, hardly no bait on that thing. Golly. I'm going to sit in the air condition for a little bit, but uh, nothing to be mad at at all. You know, it may not look like much. It's not a full basket or whatever, but I, I want to share with you all kind of how this trip came played out today. So my role as a father is to wake my kids up in the morning. I get them ready for school. I get them out the door. I drive them to school. They don't take the bus. Um, and all that happens between somewhere around 6.30 to about 8.30. So like getting out before sunrise and getting out on a fishing trip early just doesn't happen for me this time of year. It's something I struggle with trying to create content for y'all because ideally, yes, I wanna get out early when it's prime time, when everything's right. But you know, my family comes first always and my wife is stepping up in such a big way. Her job takes her out before and she's not able to do it. So that's my role. That's what I have to do as a father. I have to be patient with those children, even though some days it's like, you know, it, it's hard because it's like, I know my clock is ticking, right? Like I gotta get out here before it gets too hot, before the bite dies off, before whatever it is, uh, doesn't work out. So today I went like all the way out towards New Orleans to Lake Pontchartrain. I had an idea of catching crabs, uh, you know, a place where I had seen crabs before and it was just terrible conditions, windy, dirty water nothing was like nothing you know like nothing was adding up and that was about that was about two and a half hours like from the time i left to getting out there and figuring out it wasn't gonna work you know by the time i got back to saint bernard where i live it was like almost 11 30 you know and then i've got a uh i've got to go pick up the boys at three so it's like i've got this really tight window at this point to make it happen um and in my eyes it did you know, like I said, this isn't a trip that you'll watch and be like, wow, he really smoked them. But hell, I caught at least two dozen crabs in a couple hours uh, in a roadside ditch. No boat, no, you know, no, no fuel for the boat. None of that was involved. So in that sense, I'm proud of it. And I appreciate y'all watching it. Um, I'm going to soak up a little bit of AC, go hit those nets again real quick, because those nets are catching every single time. Those two nets. Let's go hit those one more time. We'll go pick up the boys get home and cook some crab. Jack's gonna be so excited that I'm gonna have crab for him. Uh, you know, it's just one of those days where I wanted to give up. I honestly did. I wanted to go back home and just go to sleep for a little while and, and just kind of like, you know, lick my wounds. In other words, like this morning was a loss. But I said, no, 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 let me stick it out because I'm trying to get you guys two videos this week. And, uh, and I came here, talked to a gentleman, you know, as he was picking up leaving, gave me a few tips and it all happened. And, uh, you know, so sometimes it's, it doesn't happen on our time. It happens on his time. And if you're open and, and you're willing to work a little bit harder, sometimes it happens. So I'm going to go play one last role as Jared the Crabber before I got to go be Jared the father again. 
I appreciate y'all so much for being a part of everything I do, for being with me each week. Let's go see how many crabs we got left. Come on, Nat. Give me them crabs. Give me them crabs. Oh yeah, they in there, they in there. Oh, it's just one. Just one, he's little. We've had a wonderful day. Good Lord blessed us, let's put him back. And let's check the last one. This is the heavy hitter, but it's kind of out of bait. Let's see, come on, let's go out with a bang. Uh, nope, no bait. Well, we got what we need. Let's go pick them boys up and get to cooking. What's up, dude? Oh, what's up? Ooh. Oh, no, he's tired. What's the matter? You okay? You're not going to make it? No. No? I didn't see my lunch can. My other lunch. You didn't see it? All right, dude, look at what we got. Some dead crabs. Dead? What you talking about, bro? Not dead. You crazy, dude. Let's go rinse them off, huh? So okay. we can start cooking okay. them. Jackie! Jackie! They're trying to get it out. Jack, you want to help me rinse them off? Jack, you want to come see the crabs again? Um, the crabs are looking like they're going to fight us. They do want to fight you. <laughs> Take that, freaking crabs. Alright, dude, look at what we got. You ready to eat them? Alright, I need you to rinse them off for me, okay? Right. Here, hey, my Jack, one almost got out. Here, hold that for me, Jack. Alright, let's rinse them off. Are you still dead? Okay, okay, they did not they did not dead. Give him a good you rinse, know, Jack. Give I don't see my out. Look at that! 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 Look all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and steam these crabs today. The good thing about steaming crabs is you only have to have a little bit of water so you're not waiting on all that water to come up to a boil. Something you can do inside in the house. We have a football game to get to, so I wanna get this done fairly quickly so I don't have to wait on all that water to come up to boil. So I do have this little device you're putting at the bottom of the pot that keeps the, uh, the crabs up over the water. So I'll set that in. Then I just wanna do a 50-50 on water and vinegar. All right, I'm gonna put my lid on and let that start steaming. All right, my seasoning today I'm gonna to use is called Texas Gold. Uh, it's actually kind of a barbecue seasoning. That's what it was developed for, but I think it's going to go really well on these crabs. I know it's good on seafood. I know it's good on pork. So let's try this out. That way we don't have like a traditional spicy boil. This is just kind of a well-seasoned with a unique flavor. Let's try it out. All right, so I got my first layer of crabs in there. We just want to cover them. Just crazy cover them in seasoning. Yes, yes, indeed. That looks so good. All right, the next layer gets seasoned up real good. All right, and the last layer seasoned up real good. Got it back on the heat. Go ahead and cover it up and let it steam. All right, look at that. Some delicious steamed crabs that were swimming just about an hour ago. Man, that looks good. All right, folks, look at that delicious steamed crab meat. I like it all kinds of ways, boiled, steamed. Y'all could have the debate which one's better. I'm just going to keep eating them all. We got the butter with it. Jack, you trying the butter? Mm, on the next one. On the next one. I'm going to dip mine. You sure you don't want to try the butter? On the next one. All right. Look at that. Just buttery goodness. Let's try it. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Oh, that's good. Mm. That's yummy, so yummy. So good. Catching them on the roadside. It wasn't even supposed to be like that, but it was. Give me another one, Jack. Try it in the butter. Okay. Mm. All, right. All right, Jack said he's going to try the butter on this one. You're going to love it, bro. Oh, my goodness. That looks so good, y'all. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Did I steer you wrong or what? It's not that good with the butter. No? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, everybody's different, I guess. Mm hmm I thought it was delicious. I don't think it is. Okay. Well, here you go. Oh, yeah. Well, once again, folks, we pulled it off. 
against all odds. Thank you so much for being a part of what we do. We got to hurry up and eat and get to a flag football game. Wish us luck, and we'll see y'all soon. Mm -hmm.